YouTube, how's it going? Frogs and Angels is back with some more NFL team-by-team -team record predictions. We're on to the Carolina Panthers from the NFC South. We did the Atlanta Falcons, so the Panthers is the second one up. We will do the Saints and then the Buccaneers next. We did plenty of teams already, so if you haven't seen those, go check them out. And then once we get through the rest of the teams, we'll predict the playoffs, and then we'll predict the Super Bowl, and then a couple more prediction videos before the season starts. And during the year, NFL weekly pick them. So a lot coming here at Frogs Angels. Can't wait. Uh, but uh, for the Panthers and for all these teams, we're using this website, playoffpredictors.com. Link in the description of the video, so go click on it. Make your own predictions. Very cool website. But the Panthers, let's talk about the Panthers. You know, Cam Newton, uh, when you have a guy like that, it, you always have a chance of a, of a very good season. Uh, a guy a guy that I predicted to win an MVP actually coming out of Auburn has done that. I, I think it's possible that he can still win another one, but can he do it? Can he do it with the talent around him, with this team? Uh, that That's questionable. Looking at the offensive line, I'm pretty scared of this offensive line. You know, it took a significant injury early on uh, to the right side of the line. I'm kind of worried about that left side of the line, which seems to be more important in the NFL. I think they can run block. You know, they're not going to run block extremely well, but I think they're okay run blocking, kind of pass blocking, what scares me. And then looking at the receivers, you know, this could be a good, could be a mainly, I kind of look at it a bad thing. I think DJ Moore coming in as a rookie, is their best receiver. You know, good for him. He's going to be a, a good rookie receiver, but I think they need more talent there. Funches was pretty impressive last year, but I think that's the most you're going to get from him. Uh, maybe slight improvements. Do like the Jarius Wright pickup, but it's a guy that's not going to, you know, he, he's not going to wow. He's not going to be a lead for you. So, I mean, good pickups, but what are we going to get from him? Then you got McCaffrey at running back. I think a step up this year, more touches. Question what him is and was coming out of Stanford. Can he get that many carries in between the tackles? I think he can develop, and I think he will be able to. But you can expect with the Panthers, they won't run a bunch of times in between the tackles. So you kind of, I think it's a you can game plan. Cam Newton's been a guy that you, it's hard to game plan on, but I think it's starting to be that you can game plan on this team. And I'm not so sure about the hires, you know, Norv Turner in there. Um, it almost seemed like at first Cam Newton was a little question, questioning it a little bit, you know. Um, I think you can game plan on this offense now, and I think that was the the difference when they were very, very good. Very good season last year, but um, when they made a Super Bowl run, I think they had more talent. The, the talent on the team right now was younger. Some of those guys were younger. They were better. Uh, so I think you can game plan on this team, even though they have some weapons here and there. I don't know if there's enough, and again, I keep saying it, but I'm predicting this to be a game you can game play on this team unlike other Cam Newton years. Looking at the defense, um, Quan Short, very good defense tackle, get after the quarterback and stop the run, um, on his way to being an elite defensive tackle, Pro Bowl talent, like him a lot. Uh, they had Don Terry Poe, you don't know what you're going to get from him, kind of bouncing around, quiet seasons, but a good pickup overall after losing Starla Tule. And then I don't know what you're going to get from the pass rush to on the defensive ends, from the defensive ends. Mario Edison, pretty solid. Another guy that's not going to really wow. Um, Julius Peppers, you can't expect a whole bunch from him now. Uh, so is pass rush going to be as good as it was? I don't think so. I don't know if I really like their depth all that much there too. Uh, defensive tackle depth a little better. Is Vernon Butler going to finally step up? I think he could. Uh, linebacker unit, very good. Um, obviously Thomas Davis suspended though. How much has it hurt it? I'm not too worried about the linebacker unit though. Um, but the secondary, you know, I'm a little worried about the secondary. I don't really like the secondary. Um, some guys really have to step up. They did a good job in the draft. They draft Dante Jackson, Rashawn Golden. Good job. That's what they needed to do. Those guys got potential, but is it going to help them make a run this year? You know, I, I think it's a team that you can throw the ball on. I think it's a team you can, you can air it out on them. So I'm a little worried about mainly their offensive line and then maybe their secondary. So, Still a very good team. It's just what Panthers team are you going to get? The Super Bowl run Panthers, the the bad Panthers we've seen a couple years ago, uh, or last year's Panthers, pretty darn good season, but then they got the Falcons and the Saints in their way in their division. Very tough division, very good division. I mean, the NFC all together, very good. So, week one against the Cowboys. Uh, week one, you know, games can go either way. I keep saying it, but that's how it is in the NFL. Um, in the Cowboys video, I did pick the Cowboys. And I think I'm going to stick with it. You know, I'm playing the matchup game here. The Cowboys' weakness on offense could be maybe throwing the ball downfield. I think they're going to be able to do it against the Panthers' defense. And even though the Cowboys' defense struggles at time, I think their pass rush is pretty good. I think it'll be even better than it was last year, not nothing extreme. 
Uh, but I think they can get after Cam Newton because the Panthers' offensive line. So I'll take the Cowboys in that one. Week two against Atlanta. You know, this is a tough game regardless because it's in Atlanta, division game, and I think the Falcons are better uh, and will be slightly better than they were last year. So I'll take the Falcons in that one, starting off 0-2, not looking good. Plenty more games to play, though. Uh, home against the Bengals. Bengals are a sleeper team, but the Panthers are still much better. And at home, I will take the Panthers by week early in week four. Uh, then we go. they go to the uh, – staying home, and they're playing the Giants – the Giants to win this game, maybe Saquon will have to do some work here, but I think the Panthers can slow him down enough, and they're at home. Panthers win that one. Uh, and then uh, in Washington, week six, this is, a, this is a tough one. Could go either way. Uh, I think a tough place to play there on that field. Uh, I'll take the Redskins at home in that one. And I'll, yeah, Again, could go either way. Week seven in Philly, that's a tough one for the Panthers, you know. I think the Eagles are, are the better team. You know, some people predicted them to uh, take a step down. Maybe that's because they just won the Super Bowl. But I think they're built to have success for years. Not saying they're going to win the Super Bowl year after year. But I think the Eagles are just the better team. And it's in Philly. I'll take them. Week 8, home against Baltimore. Um, Baltimore is a pretty balanced team. I'll take the Panthers in that one. You know, the Ravens aren't going to be really be able to air it deep on the Panthers where their weakness is, I don't think. And, you know, the, the Ravens' pass rush maybe isn't the same. Some of those guys aging could be pretty solid, but I don't know if they'll be really be able to get after Cam all that much to win this game. So I'll take the Panthers. Week 9, home against the Buccaneers uh, division game. Uh, I think the Buccaneers may struggle this year. I'll, I'll, I'll take the Panthers at home. Thursday night in Pittsburgh, that's tough to play the Steelers on Thursday night. Should be a fun game to watch, though. I think a high-scoring game in this one, very high-scoring, I'm predicting. I'll take the Steelers. Week 11 in Detroit, maybe another one that can go either way. Um, I think two teams that you can could be playoff teams. You know, they were in the recent past, Panthers last year, Lions year before. But I think could take slight steps down, both teams really. Um yeah, you know, I, I think the Panthers. I think the Panthers are the better team. I, I you know, just a, a thought. I think McCaffrey could have a day in this one. Just, just a prediction. Um, so I'll take the Panthers. Week twelve, home against Seattle. Uh, I mean, uh, Seattle is another team that pretty much everybody's expecting to take a step down, uh, but you can't really count them out because Russell Wilson, one of the best players in football. But I like Carolina at home, better team. Uh, week thirteen, week thirteen stuff here. Uh, Tampa. You know, I mentioned the Panthers are better. Tampa's going to struggle this year. Um, that's tough. Um, I, I I think the Buccaneers will struggle. That could go either way since it's in Tampa. I'll take the Panthers. In Cleveland, you know, in the Browns video, I actually picked the Browns in the upset. On paper, the Browns are, I think, a pretty darn good team, but that doesn't mean they'll be good. Uh, I'm going to stick with the pick, though, the upset. Uh, I, I think – the Browns' pass rush is pretty darn good. I think they'll get after Cam Newton. Close game here. Uh, the Browns win. Week 15, home against the Saints. Uh, man, it's Monday night in Carolina. That's big time for the Panthers because I think the Saints are better. I think the Saints could put up some points. But I also think the Panthers in this situation can put up a good amount of points against the Saints. So I will take the Panthers in that one. And then week 16 in Atlanta, or home against Atlanta. They already played in Atlanta in week two. So a pretty big gap in between playing them again. Look at it. They play the Saints in week 15 and 17. They play Atlanta tw- two and then and then down at 16. Kind of odd. Um, I'll take the Panthers in this one at home. Uh, maybe they they get the Falcons there. And then week 17, they don't too well the Saints, especially in New Orleans here. I'll take the Saints. So nine and seven. Um I think that's pretty realistic for the Panthers. Going back, they can win week one. Um, I also think it's possible they can lose week five. They can win week six. Uh, then I had them winning two two in a row. And then after the Steelers lost three in a row. So maybe they don't win. Maybe they don't go on that much of a tear there. Um, maybe they can lose to the Buccaneers in Tampa. The Lions game could go either way, like I said. Browns, that was kind of an upset, so the Panthers, Panthers could win that. But then you look at the Saints and the Falcons, who I think are definitely better than the Panthers, you know, not by a long shot, but I think most people agree that they're they're better. Uh, maybe they don't split with both. I don't see them 2-0-ing either of them. I think it's I don't I wouldn't be super surprised if they got 2-0'd by one or both of those teams, so that's possible. So I think 
Uh, I think nine and seven is very realistic. You know, after going through those, maybe even eight wins, it's hard to see them winning seven with a guy like Cam Newton, but I think it's possible. But it's also possible they can win around 10 games. So I think nine wins is pretty realistic. I, I think eight's also very possible. So let me know your guys' thoughts on that. But that'll do it for this one. We're going to keep ripping until we're through all the teams. We're going to pick the playoffs, predict much more than weekly NFL and college football pick during the year. Our subscriber goal is 10K subscribers, so please subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to click that like button. That would be much appreciated. But that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Goodbye.